went to this anime convention recently, uh, Ekikon, and I picked up way more stuff than I should have, so, um, let's make some content out of it, and, um, so I can feel better about all my purchases, <laughs> but, um, yeah, uh, anime convention was super fun, um, if you like anime and you haven't been to an anime convention, I highly recommend doing so. Um, it's just a good time. Uh, surrounded by people that enjoy things that you enjoy, and it's just a good time. That's that's you know that's that's basically just what it is. I'm mostly just liking for the vibes and uh, for all the stuff that I buy. So yeah. So I got two figures and some art. And I got this, like, one comic book from this, like, smaller comic book artist. And I got this t-shirt, actually. Um, I think I can show you guys. Give me a sec. Give me a sec. Uh, I got this t-shirt. It's, it's a Bucky t-shirt. Bucky from Bucky. Bucky the Grappler. I think from the, based on the, um, based on the art, it looks like it's from the old Bucky, which is actually the one that I've watched all the way through. The newer Bucky that's on Netflix, and I watched part of it. It's not bad, um, but I do enjoy the older Bucky the Grappler more. So, if you're trying to decide which one to watch or something, uh, I recommend the older version. But with that said, let's go ahead and get into the stuff. Some, some of, some of the art is um a little risque. So, um, they're not naked, but I'm probably just gonna, like, censor it in some kind of way. Because I don't want to have to deal with the hassle of YouTube and potentially getting young children into that kind of stuff, so, uh, <laughs> yeah. Anyway, this is the first piece. This one is not the one I was talking about, but look at this. Next up, I'm gonna show you guys this figure that I got. Uh, it's an android of Echidna. 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 Yeah, you can see the ring light and everything fucking up in the reflection, but. Yes, um, this is an android of Echidna from ReZero. ReZero is one of my favorite anime. And, um, yeah, I, I've never bought a Nendroid before, but, um, I was kind of hesitant on it just because it's, like, in the chibi style, and I really like, I just like them in their full form, um, you know, but I did get a Nendroid because 
because of just the ability to like change their faces and it comes with like it comes with her chair it's got her tea right there and then she can make all these different faces I am never going to she's making all these faces hold on I'm trying to get it to focus okay she can do this she's got this one She's got this one. This is probably the one that I'm gonna keep her on. She looks so cute. And then her in the chair. Um, so yeah, I got this and I'm really excited. I kept it in the box strictly for the video. I'm probably gonna take it out uh, when the video's over. Um, yeah, I just like to see my, my figures just out and about, you know what I mean? Uh, it makes it feel like more of a part of my space space um so yeah we got this um echidna i believe she was in like my top five waifus list i don't really remember what my list was um but she definitely like highly ranked amongst my favorite anime characters that are she is looking magnificent um this is darkness from konosuba um she is definitely on my waifu list i love her so much um she's just kind of freaky you know um sorry <laughs> but uh, i love the love the freaky anime girls what can i say sorry you guys are really uh, getting to know me in this one. I'm definitely... Okay. I am a big weeb. And if you don't know what weeb is, it's like short for weeaboo. Basically somebody like very much into anime and otaku culture. Um, and yeah, and that really showed out at this anime convention. So, um... Yeah. But I really like the... I really like this picture, I really like the art, and I just like darkness, so I saw it and I had to cop. So, I don't want to have that up too much, because I'm not 100% if I'm censoring or not, it or not, so, if I'm censoring it, I'm going to have to be moving that uh, little sensor thing around a moment, so, yeah, um, yeah, really enjoyed that, I'm really psyched to put that up eventually. Probably just gonna put it behind like my closet door or something. But you know, I'm a grown man. I am a grown man. All right. Let's get, let's get that on the table. 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 Let's throw that on the table. Let's throw it on the table. I am a grown man. I've been a grown man for 
for five years. Almost six. Actually, I just had a dream. I just had a dream, actually, and it just came back to me. I just had a dream that I slept through my birthday somehow. I sleep a lot. I sleep a lot. I sleep a lot. Okay. Let's... I sleep a lot. I'm a very sleepy boy. Whether it's from the sleeping, whether it's from the smoking, uh, or I'm just a sleepy boy, whatever. Or I don't really get that good sleep, but... Um, uh, I'm a sleepy boy, and I had a dream that I slept through my birthday. It was crazy. I was so sad. I, I was sad, like I'm turning 24 this year. February 6th, so mark your calendars, mark your calendars, mark your calendars, mark your calendars. 2024, February 6th, and I had a dream that I slept through it. Okay. Another piece from the same one that did the Junji Ito uh, art. Inspired by or taken from the, um, the Studio Ghibli movie Princess Mononoke. Um, I um, I've actually not seen this movie yet. Um, I've seen Howl's Moving Castle. I've seen Spirited Away, uh, Kiki's Delivery Service, uh, My Neighbor Totoro, Ponyo. Um, that might be. That might be all those Studio Ghibli movies that I've watched, but, um, yes, I've, I've not seen this one, and, uh, my, my partner has, and they love that movie, so they actually picked this one up, it was, um, it was like a buy one, get two thing, like, whatever, like, get the second one discounted, so, um, I, um, yeah, I just let her get one, and she picked out this one and honestly it looks amazing once i get around to watching princess mononoke i'm gonna love it even more because i already really like it because it looks it just looks so good um but yeah you know, let, me, let me make some more sounds about It is just way easier to do that. You literally just plug it in right at the bottom. That's amazing. But, um, yeah, so very happy with this purchase. And, uh, we can move on to the next item. I'm sorry, guys. I. Maybe I got something. though the um they kind of like explained the premise to me of the book and um it just seemed really cool it just seemed really cool so please focus okay um it just seemed really cool like um he said this word to me basically like meaning like power ranger type style and um that's kind of like what he's taking from and 
He said he's gonna like take a little bit before they actually get suited up and stuff so we can like the characters. And that sounds really cool, honestly. Um, there's like there's like action shows and shonen and whatever anime and sometimes they get their powers in like the first episode. And that's cool too. But if they can make me fall in love with the characters before they put that stuff on and then that happens, dude, they got me. Like that sounds amazing. So this is the first issue. Uh if you are tempted somebody who said that they really liked uh, Persona so look at that that is so beautiful it's Joker and Morgana I actually have not gotten into the part of the game with that girl but I've already seen her multiple times and then there's the guy that takes him in I cannot remember his name at this point but yes look at this it's like in this more realistic style it is so, so it looks so just how that went and and my partner liked it too so you know that bad boy's going up in the new apartment you already know 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 They're either like super quiet or they're like insanely loud. <laughs> okay. This one is another one that I'm gonna have to censor. This one is even more dirty. Um. Yes.
This guy's still going. dubbed anime that often um but at some point in my life i would like to be a voice actor so i do think that i should show them some love which is what i'm kind of doing right now but um yes so i don't really watch dubbed anime and so all the like artists guests that were at the convention were they were all dubbed anime voiceover people so i wasn't really that psyched because i don't really know any of them however Somebody came over to me when I was at the convention and showed me their picture. They had a picture of this anime character named Miki from Parasite. Parasite is fire, so if you have not watched it, I highly recommend doing so. Um, um, and I was like, whoa, she's here? Like, that's kind of cool. Like, I like, I really like Parasite, so even if I don't really watch the dub, like, I'll go over there. So I go over there, and I see, like, all these characters she played and i most somewhat recently started um a certain scientific railgun so but i just really like it like it has like action but it also has like a slice of life feel and the characters are just really like they're really funny honestly there's just one character that's always hitting on her that's also a girl and it's just like really funny to me yeah, I really like the show. So, um, she's um, Rimuru from that time I got reincarnated as a slime. 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 She's Migi from Parasite. She's Black Star from Soul Eater. She is Connie from My Hero Academia. She's um. What is, who else was she? She was somebody else, but I was like, oh my gosh, she's so many people that I really like. So like, even if I don't watch the dub, like, you're doing it. Like, you're, you've you made up a lot of my anime watching history. So like, yeah, it's fire. Like, if I was doing what you were doing, like, I'd be done. But yeah, that was super cool. The 
that she was there. So, while I don't watch any of the dubbed, I did watch the Soul Eater dubbed for a little bit. But, even if I don't watch the dub, the fact that she's so many characters that I love, I, I had to, I had to. I didn't have to, but I did. You know, you know how it goes. You know how it goes, you know how it goes, you know how it goes, you know how it goes. Oh, I'm so sorry. Happy New Year, guys. <laughs> Happy New Year. Um, yeah. I've been uploading for like five months so far. So, um, and now we're walking into a new year together. And I just want to say I'm really appreciative of everybody that's joined the journey so far. Um, we just hit a thousand subscribers recently. Now it's a new year. We got a new mic. Um, and it's a beautiful day, it's a beautiful world, it's a beautiful, we're gonna make it a beautiful year, so, um, yeah, I'm really got, really happy that you guys are here, uh, watching and subscribing, commenting, everything, everything in between, and, um, I hope you guys have a wonderful
Suitor.com, but I think she has made her way up into my wife list. 